Oh, this sucks. Let's make something good. What's up guys, it's Captain Cook. Welcome back. Uh, it's been a long time since I did a video, so I figured I will come back with a subscription box that tends to be what everybody's doing nowadays. I myself uh, do subscription boxes. A friend of mine uh, gave me a free box for Marley Spoon. If you guys don't know what Marley Spoon is, it's one of those subscription boxes, similar to Blue Apron, I think, but a little bit better. I think the recipes uh, seem a little more, not health oriented, just a little bit more kind of upscale. Blue Apron seems a little like, meh. So yeah, I didn't keep the box because I forgot that I would need it. So shut up. <laughs> it's just a brown box. I know everyone loves unboxing, but just imagine that I had a brown box. <sighs> Oh my God, food. Um, the way they send it is they have some stuff frozen in the bottom and then stuff comes in these brown bags. Martha and Marley Spoon. So uh, this specific one is saute chicken and salsa verde with orzo rice pilaf and snap peas. They send you um, this, like let's make something good. And the recipes come in these big flyers, which is kind of cool, like these big like poster papers. Um, and yeah, it's like the front has got the picture of what it's supposed to look like and there is no way in hell, and I mean no way in hell, that I'm gonna end up making it look as pretty as that. But, uh, you know, they come and then on the back is the actual instructions for the recipe. Pretty straightforward though. I mean, if you have trouble following along with something like this, you probably shouldn't be in the kitchen, probably shouldn't be around fire. You're probably not somebody I would trust in general. Yeah. So, uh, a couple different recipes. Uh, I have sauteed chicken and salsa verde, skillet ravioli lasagna, and pork chop pan roast. And I think I'm gonna do the sauteed chicken and salsa verde. And we're gonna see how it works out. Follow along with me, see if you can follow along with me. Of course you can. If you can follow along with me, you can do anything. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a crash course on this dish. So to start, Take your chicken, put it in the plastic wrap, fold the plastic wrap over, and then guess what? You got it. You're going to beat the shit out of it with a meat hammer. Not the sharp side, just the flat side. The point of this is to make it nice and thin, it'll cook better, and it is a little bit wider. So I don't really think there's any health benefit to it, but whatever. Because it cooks a lot easier. Season your chicken. Salt, black pepper, and olive oil. You're going to let that sit for the entire time you're prepping literally everything else. The chicken is not going to happen until you're pretty much you're ready just to put that shit on a plate and eat it. So uh, just season the chicken, salt, pepper, olive oil. Uh, after the chicken is done, you're going to start with your shallot. So chop off the ends of your shallot. Um, and then you're going to dice up the shallot really, really fine like that. Uh, this is going to be used for a couple different things, so you'll see. The shallot, um, the reason you did that is because you're going to actually use it for the orzo and the rice and also salsa verde. So you take your medium saucepan, get it nice and hot on medium heat, and then you're going to put in some extra virgin olive oil. You want to dump in the dry jasmine rice and the dry orzo together, and then you're going to put in two tablespoons of the shallots. This is just meant to get all those aromatics in there in the rice before you dump the water in and make it golden, fluffy, delicious. Now, this is meant to toast it, so make sure you get all those flavors and dig down deep and get all the oil. You can see how beautiful that looks. kind of looks like a weird ham dish but those are shallots it's not ham i promise maybe not who knows it doesn't matter get it in there incorporate all flavors as much as you can basically and just let it sit um the recipe says about five minutes you just kind of have to eyeball it when you see the rice on the side the ones that are stuck start to go brown that's kind of like your temperature gauge when you see it start to steam it's going to get to a point where you're like all right i gotta put some water in you this is getting ridiculous uh so put in one and two thirds cups of wata after this, you're gonna let it get to a boil. And once you get to a boil, uh, you're actually gonna let it get to a simmer after that. And you're gonna cover it and just let it chill. The recipe says about 17 minutes, but mine only took about nine. So while you're waiting for that, it is time for the salsa verde. Take your parsley and you're gonna chop this up really, really fine. And I mean really fine, really, really fine. Just chop it, all right? Uh, chop it up really fine and put it in a bowl. This is going to be the main kind of bulk in the salsa verde. So after that, you're going to throw it in the bowl. And then the next is the olives. Olives come in this weird little container thing. I don't know. It was just weird. There was like seven olives in there. Rough chop, throw them in. Uh, next is going to be the shallots also. Dump those in. And then they give me white wine vinegar actually in a little tube. So after everything is in the bowl, you're going to put in, uh, mix it around as best you can. And then you're actually going to put in the white wine vinegar and throw it all around there, all around. 
And that with some oil, salt, pepper, boom, you got a salsa verde. Dunzo. Look at that. It's gorgeous. This is optional. I like to trim the peas on the ends just for my own taste. You don't have to. Um, chicken, medium heat, and I put it to cast iron. Nonstick is fine. And yeah, let it get golden brown. Hopefully, you know how to cook chicken. If you don't, don't make this goddamn recipe. You'll kill somebody. Throw the snap peas in them, get them brown, and then all you have to do is plate. Look at this gorgeous golden chicken, salsa verde all over. This was really a beautiful dish to make. It was fun to, I just, I can't wait to try it. So, we are finished. Ah, oh, we have the chicken with orzo and rice together, snow peas and salsa verde on top. Um, I tried to make it as pretty as possible, but I really just want to do a taste test. So I'm gonna try to get everything all in one bite and see how it works. Altogether, I would say this total prep, you could easily do this in like, I don't know, 25 minutes. Uh, holy shit, that tastes good. The orzo and the rice mixed together is a really, really cool combo. It gives it like a thick, like a thick texture. Yeah, I could really see somebody like spending the money on this if you don't have time to go buy the ingredients but you like to cook. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming that Marley Spoon's kind of aiming towards young professionals, people that, you know, like cooking but don't necessarily have the time to go to the farmer's market and get all the fresh ingredients. It's pretty good. This is like, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good. Thank you guys so much for coming back. I had a blast filming this video and I really love that I get to be able to do this and edit this stuff. Uh, you know, I love to cook, obviously. Otherwise, I, this is just, this would be stupid if I didn't like to cook. More videos to come. Uh, if you like this video, I'll have all the details in the description, but if you like this video, thumbs up down below. Please subscribe for more videos and I will see you guys again. Cheers.